Do you remember the second week of September? It's right now, so I hope you do. Gong in the songs of pretenders. That's you. Chasing the salads away. That's right, it's week two. So far, we've had a little bit of earth and wind, but I'm looking for the fire this week because I'm bringing the heat with the prizes for the winners with a couple of guitars from Vola Guitars. And these guitars are proper, amazing, handmade in Japan guitars. Here's the ones that you are going to win if you win the contest this month. The first place winner will receive this handmade in Japan Oz 7T 7 string guitar in an ocean turquoise metallic finish. It has an alder body, a hard maple neck, 24 medium jumbo nickel frets, Goto locking tuners and a Goto tremolo bridge. And the fan favorite, as decided by you by vote, is also gonna win a Vola guitar handmade in Japan, this Oz V3 MC guitar in a vintage white finish. So huge thanks to Vola for sponsoring this month's contest. You can find out more information about the prizes and where to get some for yourself at the link in the description below. At the end of the episode, once you've heard all of the songs, don't forget to vote in the Discord. We are now voting weekly, and you can get to the Discord at the link in the description below. But enough yakking. Let's get cracking! Enzo Jacobson. I wrote this song in ninth grade when my girlfriend broke up with me. Crying emojis. It was a song made in pure rage and auto-tune. Interested to see how rage is going to translate through auto-tune? I hope you love this song as much as I loved her. The only one, Corpse Kicker. What a name. Here we go. Sounds like rage. Jesus, that sounded like you were standing behind me whispering into my ear, and it was very uncomfortable. When you first get the inspiration for an idea, it's a great idea to just get all of that rage and whatever else out immediately, but then, you know, take a step back, take a look at what you've got once the feeling subsides, and, uh, you know, maybe refine it a little bit. I liked the screaming vocals uh, quite a bit. Why did the singing ones uh, suddenly feel bad? Ryan McGee, Dreadnought, sent me a Spotify link. Disqualified. Thales Zope. Hi, Trey. Hi, Gang. Greetings from Brazil. I'm a 16 years old and have been watching your videos about songwriting for some time. Thank you for your content. You're welcome. I think the word you'd use is obrigado. I don't know how to say you're welcome in Portuguese, but... You're welcome. Anyway, this song is called Birds Fly Away, and I've composed and recorded guitar, bass, vocals, and program drums. My band plans to release it one day. It's about getting over a toxic relationship and that kind of stuff. Hope you enjoy. Talis Zope, Birds Fly Away. Holy no cab I are, Batman. Bullet for my Valentine, anyone? It's better off this way. I'll let it out today. And there is no way I'm coming back down. I'm breaking out of the cage. And I hope it's not too late. You have to love nothing, wait. Scream. Just like I did. But you do it. All right, for 16, not bad. Great start. You need a lot of work on the production, but of, of course, it's just like a demo. It's very rough. That's fine. You're off to a great start. Just keep working at it. Sam Quintus. Oh, holy hell. He wrote me a book. Hi, Trey. Greetings from Idaho. The original idea for this song came from my entry to the heaviest riff in the universe contest you did. The lyrics are inspired by a situation a few years ago when a really close friend of mine was exploited sexually by another guy I knew. That sounds like a terrible situation. It was a terrible situation, and I'm very protective of my loved ones, as you should be. All is well now. She has healed and forgiven him, and he has turned his life around and become a respectable guy. I was not expecting that. That is actually a great story. I just reflected on the anger I felt at the time when it was all going down and that turned in turned that into the lyrics for this regardless of whether i win i had fun and she was honored by my effort so it's all worth it anyway roast away here as it is ashes
That's a fucking. That is an angry hook. Does sound so angry. But it's also got to kind of be. More than just the one chord heavy. Cool. Alright. Very groovy drop. Keeping my body moving. I don't think this stank face is going to leave my face. I believe the front of my skull. Alright. And then a breakdown. Okay. Looks like I was pretty close to the end. I very much enjoyed the sound and the feeling of this. As a song, I was a bit disappointed by um, the sort of lack of continuity. Like, it doesn't feel like we are near the end of this right now. It feels like I'm waiting for s some uh, thread of continuity that's gonna hold it all together. So that's a bit of a bummer because the vocals are extra killer. Really sick lyrics from what I could hear, like, the thing in the beginning whatever that hit me really hard about the with the hook line in it the ashes bit well, obviously it's not that memorable if i can't remember it crushingly heavy incredibly angry i really liked that as a song you gotta give me more you gotta learn how to use repetition in a way that's gonna tell a better story over the course of the song but a big old tip of the hat for uh, so, so much of this. Hey Trey, I wrote this song mostly for fun and to practice mixing as I am trying to learn more about that. So it's like kind of a gear demo-ish. Great. I called the song Sleeping Giant because I wrote this after an eight year hiatus from making or playing music. And now we get to hear your first attempt back. Excited for you to rip it apart, ha <laughs> ha. I hope you and Kenneth enjoy. We probably won't. Sleeping Giant, Agent 3ATE6. I hope I don't want a headbang, because this hat is going to hurt for that. I could be wrong, though. Could be sick. Off to a good start! Typically driven. Dun dun. Dun dun. Dun dun. Dun dun. Dun dun. Five hundred weebs right now are, are going to the keyboard to go. Sounds like anime music. Sounds like an anime intro! This is a uh, very nicely melodic instrumental guitar music. For f***ing once! Let's 
see where it goes from here. It's a little groove. There's the one. I found it. It's cool. We're good. I feel like that was kind of a missed opportunity to take your melody to a new place. Yeah, okay. So now we're back to this nice melody and it's Alright, yeah. Really hard to get good instrumental music. So I'm just gonna enjoy it. I guess I was kinda hoping it was gonna be developed even more. I feel like you got a little lost in the middle there. That's pretty good. Ah, uh, anti climax. That's a gong. He gonged himself. Kenneth gets a break for once. Obviously, I liked this quite a bit. I also feel like you kind of dropped the ball. You got off on some kind of self-indulgent riffy tangents here. And rather than developing this really good melody that you already had, you had a, a solid, strong motif that you developed in a small way in the section where, it ha where the melody happens. But across the entire composition, it felt like instead of taking that motif on a, on the journey of the whole song, it felt like you kind of just like had it and then you did some other stuff and then you brought it back at the end, which I call fohesion, which is where you kind of bookend the song with this the same idea to make it seem like it was really intentional and it's okay. Definitely better than like the vast majority of instrumental songs that I get sent, but it also had a little bit of blue balls for me. But I would be interested in hearing more from you if you could really take these ideas to the level that they need to be at for it to be really great. I recorded this song in a single day after waking up and randomly feeling inspiration. That's always nice. It's kind of strange because I've had writer's block for a while and I'm not sure where the idea came from, but I ran with it. If you're experiencing writer's block, I literally have the cure for it. I have a course called Smashing Writer's Block and it's how to get over that. It's not as hard as you would think. So check that in the link in the description. I've been listening to a lot more music outside of metal and I think it contributed to my creative process. Yeah, it'll do that. Listen Listening to metal is great. I love metal, but if you want to get inspired to make something new and exciting, going outside of the stuff that you usually listen to is a great idea. I hope you enjoy. Plus, I play in a band from Chicago called Stitch Apart. So I, guess I will not. A narrow Darian essay. Pretty nice sounding little thing, but this is not interesting enough for it to be instrumental. It just is not. You can't make people wait that long for the meat of the song. You just can't do it. Okay, Michael Kelso, Shiny Fast Eardrums track was not found. Maybe it has been removed. Yeah, maybe. Maybe it got sucked into a wormhole. Shouldn't you know you're a computer? Why don't you know the answer? A little scary. Andres King, Sensory Overlord. Hi, Trey, I made a music. It's about the attention span people have nowadays. You will understand. Bye-bye and thanks for the laughs. Hello, friend, is the name of the song. It's 46 seconds long. Okay, Mr. King, hello, friend.
this is nice, but where could you possibly go in 46 seconds with this? Nah. It's a music. Yes, it is. But we don't need, just need music. We need a song. This is a nice little snippet of a thing. Very nice sounding. Not a song. Christopher Holt. Hi, Trey. Here's a song written in Oklahoma when I lived there and found my band in the middle of nowhere on a whim less than a mile away from me in rural Oklahoma. Like if I had fallen to earth in their backyard when they needed me. Hope you and the fans like it. Drone footage mp3. It is nice to find nearby collaborators. Nice voice. Don't you let me down. This already should have picked up Like almost the exact same thing Oh, see, there you go See how that picks up a bit Something happens I want to hear this chorus Really nice voice, pretty good start. Felt like it just kind of flatlined after like starting off and then, you know, it went on for too long before you got to the next thing and picked up the pace a bit. And then the chorus also didn't really hit that hard, but it seems like you got something pretty good going here. And if you could just make it like kind of more exciting, I think I would be a lot more into it, but it's a good start. Do you have a hard time writing lyrics? I know that a lot of you do because you're always asking me for help with your lyrics. So that's why I decided to create my very first lyrics course. And it is almost done. It's almost here. So if you're interested in finding out more about that when it drops, you're definitely going to want to hit the link in the description to sign up for my mailing list so you can be the first to know when it drops. Because when it drops, it's going to drop real hot with some discounts and all kinds of magical, wonderful stuff. So get on that list so you don't miss it. But now back to the gong. Andrew Stonerock. My new band, by all means, this is our first single. All right. By all means, House of Sorrow. My hat matches my shirt exactly. Perfect. Bar advanced barbarian moves. Not terrible, but a lot of big time local bar band kind of vibes here. Just sounded like a pretty good average Saturday night at the local pub. Spencer Jordan, Digitist Waste. Made this song a while ago during the first COVID lockdown for fun. I make electronic music and this was an excuse to get the guitar and bass out again while I was out of work for a while. Lyrics were made up on the spot and I know I sound like Fred Durst. Oh, good. Waste Digitist. <laughs> That's how I feel about a lot of these. Oh yeah. You should join you should join a Limp Biscuit cover band. See like
yeah, you really do sound like Fred Durst. You should for sure be doing uh, covers online. There's a guy that I follow on Instagram who does like Eminem impressions and like it's it's kind of gold. I feel like you could do that kind of like impressions of, of Fred Durst or whatever. Highly recommend it. This was like kind of a cool start and then you, I could tell you just kind of gave up to be honest. And between that and you just telling me that you made up the vocals on the spot, it had to get gong. Don't do that, guys. Don't give me a reason before I even start to hit the stop. Carol Crook. Hi, Trey. I don't do vocals and I'm not a shredder, so I arrange and record my song with a space for someone who can actually sing. Slap the gong hard, daddy. Yeah, I'm gonna. If you just recorded something with space for someone to sing on it, I am not going to f***ing listen to it. You didn't follow the rules. <laughs> this is not what this contest is for. Period. You don't need to be a shredder or a singer to write a melody part for your song. Simon Lindsay. Hey Trey, song is called Busted Hand. It's an instrumental I wrote after recovering from a hand injury. Simo plays guitar, Busted Hand. New song. Having had a really good instrumental track already in this episode, I can't listen to more of this. Uh, it sounds fine and okay and whatever, but it's already pretty boring. The 80s was really great, you guys. Lots of really, really great guitar music. The guitar was kind of king, but it's 2023. We gotta do better. We gotta get, we gotta get past it, all right? 40 years ago, guys, 40 years. That's it for week two, Gong Gang. Go right now to the Discord and vote before you forget which one is your favorite. Huge thanks to Vola Guitars for providing some amazing guitars for this month's prizes. Last week's episode is right here. Next week's episode will be right here and you'll be able to watch it at 11.15 a.m. PST right here on the channel. Come hang out in the premiere. We're always chatting it up. You're probably over here right now watching it. And I'll see you then.